Hi, friends. I'm Pastor Jack Mantrick, pastor at Central United Methodist Church. Each week when we gather for worship, whether it be in person or on live stream, we uh, put out message notes. You can fill in the blanks. You can write in the margins. Whatever is helpful for you, you can completely ignore this piece. It also has five days of devotional material. It's meant to help people kind of dig a little deeper into the message and have that message sustain uh, a little longer than just Sunday morning and uh, perhaps uh, enter into your thinking throughout the next week. We've been doing a series of messages on Christmas is not your birthday realizing that God has some intentions for us and wants us to know that God would rather we give gifts to those in need rather than for ourselves. And we've been challenging uh, our members and friends here at Central Church to think about how they might uh, spend uh, maybe as much as they spend on, um, on, uh, eat, on, their, on their Christmas gifts inclusive of food sometimes or, or other expenses for Christmas and see if they might want to give that same amount of money toward a ministry within our church or another ministry uh, that is worthy of their attention. So we've been talking about this love of God. And I started by saying that the music of my day had several, uh, several different um, uh, uh, loves of, uh, that were described as crazy love. Uh, for example, uh, Paul Davis's 1977 hit, I Go Crazy, or Ozzy Osbourne's Crazy Train, 1980, or my favorite is Queen's uh, Crazy Little Thing Called Love, 1979. That's the music of my generation. And I know that crazy is not a word that uh, is in um, favored usage now. Uh, it, it's not meant to be, never was meant to be a diagnostic term uh, for people. Uh, but some people take it the, that uh, way, and uh, but uh, it is still used in in uh, music lyrics today. And crazy love sort of has this sense of an irrational, uh, out of control love for another. It uh, it, it might suspend your uh, the way you think, might compromise your best judgment uh, and corresponding actions can lead to unhealthy uh, relationships uh, that uh, develop into obsessions or codependency. We might think, if we, if we really think about it, we might think of the love of God in this way. You know, we use words from scripture to describe the, the love of God, everlasting, steadfast, um, deep and abiding. In our modern language, we might say crazy or shameless or scandalous. That's the word that pastor and author Michael Slaughter uh, used in his book titled, Christmas is Not Your Birthday. He says, it's a scandalous love of God that we are uh, considering here. He, uh, he describes God's love by saying, why does God choose such unlikely ways of revealing himself. He does so to make it perfectly clear that through the miracle of Christmas, that he is willing to risk it all in, urgent, in an urgent attempt to save us all. No exception. He is a God of scandalous love. And he continues by saying, so how do we respond to this incredible gift, this crazy excess of love? So I want you to think about it. What does crazy love mean to you or scandalous love? What do you think of when you hear those phrases to describe love? Does it have a, a place uh, in your definition of what love really looks like? You know, God is involved in our world, demonstrating this incredible and frankly unbelievable love for us. We're going to speak about this throughout the rest of this week. But what do you think about uh, uh, what does it mean, this definition, your definition of scandalous love or shameful love or shameless love or crazy love? What do you think of? What does that look like? And how might you think of God's love in those terms? Think about that for today. Hope to see you tomorrow. For now, let's pray. Gracious God, we do thank you for 
your love of us, deep, abiding, everlasting. And we thank you that you are that you are a part of our lives and that you love us so much that you sent your one and only son to come and redeem us, to show us the way of life, the way of the cross, so that we might find meaning and purpose for your kingdom work here on earth as it is in heaven. May it ever be so. In the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. Friends, have a great Monday and God bless you.